The Academy of Our Lady of Guam will now present the valedictorian of the class of 2013, Juni Chu. Ju resides in Varagata Heights with her parents, Seon Yu Chu and Yin Li Ai. Ju will be entering freshman at University of Southern California. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 valedictorian of the Academy of Our Lady of Guam, Jun Yi Chu. Good evening, Archbishop Anthony Aperon, Sister Francis Jerome Cruz, Miss Mary Meeks, the Sisters of Mercy, teachers, faculty, staff, families, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2013. We're gathered here today to celebrate the end of a chapter and the beginning of another where we are the authors and only we get to determine whether this story will be a bestseller. Before I begin, I would like to thank my parents who have always supported me no matter my decisions, and my sister who helps me with everything from college applications to life, and not to mention this valedictorian speech. I know I do not say this enough, but I love you, and thank you for putting up with me. Sorry. I would also like to thank my teachers, and I know I may sleep in your class at times, <laughs> but you have not only helped me grow academically, but grow as a person as well. And lastly, my friends who listened to me whine and complain, but still offered me their friendship, advice, and most importantly, their food. I would not be standing here today if it weren't for you all. The number 13 is often considered an unlucky number, and regarding our class, some people might think it's true. I mean, we lost song best, messed up senior countdown, and we still cannot sing the harmony to the alma mater, no matter how much Miss B scolds us. But to me and the rest of the graduating class, 13 is a very lucky number. It represents us, the class of 2013, the bachelor winners, the class that all the teachers love, the seniors of the academy. The people who are standing out there, teachers, staff, family, and friends, you must be so incredibly proud of these lovely ladies sitting behind me. But understand that we would not be where we are today if it wasn't for your guidance and your encouragement. Each of us has you to thank for pushing us and inspiring us, even when times were difficult, and especially when we were difficult. So I would like to ask the class of 2013 to please rise and clap for those who came to support us, not only on this special night, but also every night. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Graduates of 2013, we have come so far from marching through the halls as freshmen, singing our way through sophomore year, performing on stage junior year, and learning all the tips and tricks of the school to help us survive senior year. We have lost a few friends, family members, and loved ones over the course of four years, but they will forever be in our hearts and minds. Let's all reserve a moment of silence for those who cannot be here today, especially our beloved sister Tori. I know that they are watching us from above. We took an incredible journey in order to stand where we're standing today. From writing an analysis paper for Blazak the day it is due, sleepless nights thanks to composition, and hundreds of projects and papers thrown at us the last week of school. We surpassed these challenges and hardships, but these next coming years will be even harder. As we go through life, nothing ever gets easier, but we'll manage, we always have. 
Along with these challenges, you have made some wonderful memories, such as dancing and singing at prom, pranking Mr. Miguel, not laughing at Miss Mendy's jokes, having a huge sleepover in the gym, and let's not forget, if we could forget, our musical performances such as our lip club and our song fest. And don't worry, even though we lost, just remember that we're still poppin', we're poppin', we're poppin', we're poppin'. Woo! These moments will be dear to our hearts, but we'll be making more of these memories these coming years when we receive our first taste of independence. For it will be a time where we can do anything we want to do and everything we want to do. And although some of the decisions we will make later in life are not going to be the best ones, at least we walk away saying, oh well, rather than what if. Even though our class has our cliques and groups, our differences and our similarities, we are all standing here tonight, together, united as one class, and I am truly honored to have the privilege of graduating with this fantastic mesh of personalities, talents, and friendships. Now, without further ado, because this graduation ceremony is going to be long, I congratulate my sisters, the class of 2013, we made it.